Hi Libra, so I'm here to do your read for the week. I've decided that today I'm going to use my solar system cards for you air signs, since, you know, far out, man. And uh, then also, I will get some clarifiers from the Raw deck, the Eye of Raw. And uh, I don't know if you know that, I don't know why this just seems important, but Amen Ra was the name of that god. Um, and then also, animal deities have been chattering to me lately spiritually and um, so i'm going to go ahead and incorporate them into the read today so uh, let's see how we're going to start off for you guys and i get three from here um three from the raw deck and three from the animal deck so we'll just do a full spread more or less these are huge cards and i'm going to go ahead and shuffle just one time because you know i know some people like to see the shuffle go down on on camera so okay all right. Yeah, these are, I was trying to explain to the Aquarius is that these are really big cards. So just excuse me if they go flying all over the place. All right. <laughs> this just got, this just got interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. So if you haven't seen the Aquarius, you might want to go back and watch it before I explain this. Um, so the first card out was the Four Forces. And that includes electromagnetism, which is perception. And uh, I don't know why, but I'm just hearing um, the way that we look at magnets is, you know, you can obviously use a magnet to attract something, but you can also use a magnet to repel something. It's, it goes both ways. And, it, and you kind of, uh, when looking at the entire universe around you or your entire world, you need both of those abilities in order to manifest exactly what it is that you're looking to manifest. You need to be able to attract to you positive, positive vibes and then be able to say, nah, I think I'm kind of straight on that um, as well. So um, the next card out after that was Nova, which is growth in reverse. A nova is an explosion. This is in the upright. This is in the reverse. So when I'm looking at uh, the, the four forces here, there may not be a lot of growth for you in terms of the things that you feel attracted to or repelled by. It could be kind of a um, more you know, even keel kind of moment in your life as a Libra. Uh, Libras are do represent the scales. So when you're thinking about um, weighing things out, this may be a moment where things have kind of come to a standstill. And not to say that they're uh, in a bad way, but the last part here is transformation. So whereas you may have gone through, I'm just thinking about children for some reason, they go through these growth spurts where um, they go swiftly, they grow swiftly tall and then they get a little bit wider and they go tall again and then they get uh, wider. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here is that there may be a seesaw of sorts that you're either wrestling with, not even physically, but, uh, you know, mentally you could be looking into, um, you know, kind of your mentality, what you like, how you'd like to attract things or what you'd like to cut out of your life. Um, and this could be one of those moments where you're looking at both perceptions perspectives, blah, 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 if I could speak, and, um, you know, then coming to a middle ground with yourself or with someone else, um, kind of trying to see from a, a, you know, more of a, a perspective, like draw back and look at the big picture rather than being so uh, preoccupied with one side or the other. Um, and that's, you know, oftentimes a very valuable time in life to kind of just be able to sit and and think in silence to be able to experience your own um, emotions or the ways that you'd like to grow, uh, the direction that you'd like to move, uh, the things that you'd like to continue to manifest and the, the ways that you, you want to do that. Sometimes you, you can't be growing something at the same time that you're um, trying to establish a foundation. So I don't know why I'm hearing, uh, like, a, a, for businesses, for example, it, it is often hard if you're, you know, managing your own business to do all of the clerical work as well as all of the janitorial work. Uh, maybe this is a time when you're kind of figuring out the even exchange and the way that you'd like to treat yourself in a fair and just manner. So um, justice scales are Libras, and that is definitely what makes a home a home. Um, the number four, if you're, 
you know, used to the Rider Waite tarot deck, then the number four is the home. So it's the way that your uh, the forces in your home are kind of um, either repelling or attracting each other, and that's a perception thing. Some people put more weight on, um, you know, their family than they do on their work situation. Some people put more emphasis on their, uh, you know, the, the cleanliness of something versus their work situation. Um, and that can all take place at home since we're doing COVID right now. Um, you know, there's been some interesting overlaps of all of these, like a hodgepodge kind of smorgasbord of all of these things. And they can at times clash. So that's what I'm hearing here. I'm going to get some clarifiers with the raw, almond raw deck here and see what else I can ascertain. Um, okay. So the grounded anchor card came out for the four forces, electromagnetism and perception. So you may be feeling anchored or, um, okay, this is interesting. Um, let me just get these out really fast. Okay. So um, the card that came out with perception with the, uh, you know, the four forces is that you need to be grounded, that you need to kind of anchor yourself in somewhere make a decision about the way that you would like to have a home, the way that the vision that you see for yourself in the future and um, why it is that that's important to you or what it is about that vision that you'd like to kind of stake a claim in or that you'd like to, um, like if you, maybe you want to make time to make some grill, grill some steaks or something like that out on the deck and do some barbecue or something like that. I don't know. But what, what I'm saying here is that the perception of being grounded is sometimes not exactly what we think. So as I was saying before, growth of Nova um, or like a, you know, an explosion of some type is sometimes causes a stormy period in our lives where we're tossed around a little bit and un unsure which way we'd like to progress. And rather than continuing to grow those things that have thrown you off, um, sometimes it's better to just drop an anchor and say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to sit on my boat for a second and figure out how to fix the hole in the bottom of the boat so that we can all survive. You know, um, I like that kind of saying that like this, this whole earth is a boat or it's a it's a boat, a, it's a boat, a dog. Like, I don't know how to do that Scottish accent, but you know, whatever. Um, a boot. It's, boot, it's boot debt. a boot debt, about this. I don't know why I'm hearing that in my head. Like, I'm hearing a lot of accents in my head all of a sudden. Sorry, it's really weird, but <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes you need to, you truthfully don't need to be honestly transforming anything. Sometimes you just need to sit still for a second and say, okay, so halt, Every, everyone stop, stop what you're doing. Um, I feel seasick. I feel tossed around. I feel, um, I, I need to get sorted is what I'm, yeah, I need to sort it out. So when you're sorting things out, then you don't tr truthfully need to be changing anything. You just need to continue on the path that you're on and, and kind of figure out the day-to-day -day basics. Just figure out the um, the very things that make you feel stable is what I'm... Instead of this explosive growth period, just sit with and hold the energy for yourself, maybe. That's kind of what I'm picking up on there. The animals are going to help us clarify even further. So let's see what they have to say. Okay, I feel like I need to shuffle these. I just did a read and that was the same exact card that came out before. So if it comes out again, then we'll know that it was meant to be. Okay. So, I got uh, one animal card for grounded, the four forces, electromagnetism, and perception, please. Boom. Fox in reverse. Okay. So this is kind of what I was trying to say, is that rather than trying to be clever, cunning, um, to, sexuality and creativity are oftentimes associated with the fox. 
kind of just sit with yourself for a second and become your own biggest fan is what I'm hearing here. So when you when you can be your own biggest fan and you don't need to be clever or cunning or have the quick-witted responses and comebacks, um, sometimes it, it opens some space in your brain for other things to kind of come through, new ideas to bubble to the surface, and perhaps even, um, you know, blessings to come from above and, and be uh, fall down from, the, you know, the sky, since you guys are air signs, um, and to land in the boat with you when you're feeling turbulent, okay? And it, maybe that that is kind of what the growth was trying to let us know. Um, this, this box has a big old moon as well as a bowl of food right behind him. So he doesn't really need, need for anything, it looks like. He's pretty taken care of. Um, he's a fan of the secrets, obviously, but maybe the secrets are um, what he needs to ground himself in. Maybe he needs to just be real about um, where he's at with that and why the food behind him is not what he's focused on. He may be ready to, like, go chase a mouse or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay, more other two. Ooh. Okay, actually three came out, and I'm not in the business of denying blessings. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's like this little, ah, I caught it. There's a little piece of fuzz. I don't know. You probably can't see it. Anyway. Um, so leopard came out. So did raven and the frog. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put these between these two. And I'm going to see what kind of comes to me. Um, between the leopard was on stormy growth storm and no growth okay so when you're thinking about um this shadow self i don't know why this is just when you're thinking about um the black and white of things when you're thinking about the ways that you offset yourself or set yourself off um sometimes that can be really triggering to some people places or things in your life and when that happens there's not usually a lot of growth that can take place unless you are able to come back to the middle. And um, this is the middle of the read right here. So uh, I think when you're looking at the darker aspects of who you are and the ways that it kind of speckles your life, uh, that's I'm kind of seeing the speckles on this frog as being similar to the speckles on um, on this leopard here. And a snow leopard, when they're trying to be camouflaged into the background, you can tell that they're there because of little spots of black, obviously. And I think um, when you invert the picture, then here the frog, the frog may also be able to kind of sit amongst, uh, you know, the the rocks or the the banks of the the pond that it lives on, and camouflage itself. Uh, I think sometimes when you're trying to stop growth, you try to recede into the the background at times because you're it's scary to be triggered. It's scary to go through stormy times where you feel like you're going to be tossed overboard or you feel like you're going to fall off, you know, drop the ball or fall off uh, the wheel. I'm saying the wheel of fortune right here for you big tarot buffs. Um, but, you know, this is the second wheel. So I'm seeing dot, 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 you know, um, dot, 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 Raven. So sometimes that pause, sometimes that pause, just being able to really put your self in a, a moment, like sit with the tumultuous feelings, sit with the feeling of, um, discomfort and figure out what is making you feel that way uh that's oftentimes the way that you can you know gain a second set of eyes or have a closer view of what's really going on that's causing you strife or causing you some kind of a um a transformation that may not feel as though you're able to uh, reach those upper echelons that you would like to reach obviously um raven came out obviously 
this, this kind of came out and I'm just putting it between the two because this was too many cards for our read. But because Raven came out last, what I'm seeing here, oftentimes when you're ranting and raving or when you're um, not being honest with yourself, that moment of feeling triggered can sometimes stunt your transformation process, can sometimes slow you down, make you feel, ooh, okay, I'm sorry. There's something about that that's like, um, just like I, I just... Uh, I feel like there's maybe something that needs to be said to yourself, like you need to spit it out, you know? Um, when you see a lot of ravens outside, it's usually a magical moment, um, not in a necessarily good or bad way. It just denotes that something is changing, transforming. Um, same thing with kind of crows. And I know that, you know, when you get really stressed out, you get crow's feet on the corners of your eyes. And rather than getting stressed out about, you know, why well, I'm still young and I can still make myself like blah, 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 be truthful with yourself about that. If that's not honestly the truth, if you're getting older, if you're, you know, um, if you're feeling so stressed out that you can't really see where you're going, you can't, you know, make out the, uh, the forest from the trees, if you will, then that's something that you need to say, hey, you know, on, honestly, I'm not really feeling this. I'm not feeling this transformation or I'm not... Uh, I'm not able to rave about anything in a positive way at the moment. So maybe I need to take a moment and adjust my vision or adjust, uh, you know, the way that I'm looking at the end of a situation. Um, Nebula, since it's a star death here, um, there may be, you know, the a huge idea. I don't know why I'm just also, you know, after a dot, 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 you typically have this, eventually you have an epiphany where you're like, oh, light bulb. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm just seeing light bulbs. So light bulb. I feel like there may be a, a coming light bulb that you may not be able to see at the moment. There's a, a, a moon behind that darker figure in the back. And I think also there's a face and many eyes now that I look at it closely. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this, this has um, many eyes associated with it. So it's a lot of uh, symbology on these cards. These are really pretty cards. I really love these. Stealth, strength, and purity listed as the main attributes of the leopard. So you may be dealing with a Leo, Le leopard, leopard. Um, also, because I'm seeing spectacles here, um... I don't know if you guys know about Leopold and the perfect murder, but um, anyway, you can go look that up for yourself if you would like to take a little stroll down history lane. I have gone over time. I um, am so happy I got to do this for you today, though, and I will be back for you guys next time.